All right, welcome Facebook. Hello everyone. Katrina Sawa and Jill Lublin in the house today. Woo -woo. <laughs> hey, we are doing a Facebook Live to talk about becoming an influencer, influencer in your business or your industry. Um, because both of us are influencers. Both of us teach you how to do stuff that will help you become more of an influencer. And an influencer is just, you know, more of a leader, more of somebody that people want to follow. And so let's get to it. Jill, why don't you tell people, in case they don't know you, which I can't imagine, a little bit about who you are, what you do, and then I'll tell them what I do. Absolutely. So first of all, I'm so glad to be here with my friend and colleague. You're the wonderful, amazing Katrina. And um, I, I'm Jill. And what I do is I help you create visibility using publicity as a primary marketing tool. And I got four books. They're right behind me, including Guerrilla Publicity and The Profit of Kindness. I run virtual publicity courses. And I uh, also run an intentional kindness community. Super cool way to help each other out. And I know, Katrina, you've got so many things happening. Tell us a little bit about who you are. <laughs> yes. For those who may not know me, uh, I am a business coach. been doing it for 19 years, working for myself, worked with thousands of different kinds of business owners, helping them make more money and also stop working so hard. So it's about systems, technology, um, just so many different things, up-leveling your mindset on what you charge and what you're offering. Uh, and then we also added uh, Jumpstart Your Website and Techie Services, and we have Jumpstart Publishing too. So I don't have four of my own books. I have two of my own books and then a whole bunch of compilation books, but it's all good, I think, because uh, being an author is helps be more of an influencer. It's just one of the things. So Jill, I know uh, I, I've been to your workshop, so I know a lot of the great things that you share. Tell them like two or three of the things that can make them be more of an influencer, get them more credibility or, you know, more exposure in the, in their business. Absolutely. So first of all, publicity gets you influence and impact. Let's just start right there. And, and starting with a great message is what's powerful. So when you've got a great message, what's super great about that is then you can be, I like to say consistent and persistent in the marketplace. In other words, um, you can be the one that people look to when they think of publicity or marketing, right? In either of our cases. And, and that's really a key. The other thing I want you to do is use, I like to call it everything you've got. And in my virtual publicity course, we go deep on some of these things, which you've seen. But one of the things that I want you to really look at is how do you use everything you've got? That's a writer downer too. And uh, what I mean by that is, is, you know, all parts of who you are. And, and I think people often forget that. So those, those are some important things. And then the piece is to um, search out media. I, I like to call it, keep your PR antennas up and let's see what's going on where you can fit into the news. So part of that is plant your publicity garden, my friends. Plant your publicity garden now and then look to the future for what you can be going in in three, six, and nine months. That's a good way to think about how to get your word out there. Yeah, and so I, I love how you talk about using everything you've got. Can you go back to that and um, you give some examples um, like, for example, if you're uh, African American, you should look at all the African American magazines and publications out there, number one, right? Amongst everything else, too, of course. But tell a couple other tips that you like to share about that. Because I think that, that's the thing that people don't think about. Yeah, I agree. And I don't know why, because, you know, we're all so unique and fantastic. I mean, I was on the uh, consulting call the other day with a client of mine. She says to me, well, what, she's a consultant. She says, I've got a special needs daughter. I said, really, what month of the year do they, uh, you know, do they honor this and she told me the month and she knew exactly. I said, good, you're getting into it from now on, right? So what could you be using in your life, uh, in your ethnicity, in your religion? My Christian clients go to Christian media. My, I have a Hispanic woman. She got in Latina magazine using this, having nothing to do with maybe really, you know, the other parts of her business. But see, what you all got to get is that when you get 
in the media for anything, the great news is then you drive the media to where you want them to be. Your free gifts, like what we offer here, your opportunity to connect. And that is a beautiful thing because you're going to control the message once you're in the media. Good news for all of you. Yes. What do you think, Katrina? I totally think. And speaking of the message, one thing I learned from your workshop is the problem today is <laughs> the problem today is most entrepreneurs, the majority of entrepreneurs are making an average of less than $72,000 a year. And that breaks my heart. And I have three ways that I can show you how to uh, jumpstart your new business now and love yourself more successfully so that you can. <laughs> I'm doing her message like training right now. Hopefully I'm doing a good job. I'm well, Katrina, you are actually doing a great job, but I want you to notice two things what she did very, very well. Let's just let's just call it out. OK, yeah. you were perfect. And yes, she did model the, the message piece. Uh, so she called out the problem. But also what Katrina did is that she used her book titles and uh, which is what I've taught you to do. You'll learn so well. It's so beautiful. And yes, she's got her books right behind her and marketing that and having influence and impact right there. And then she used it in the message so beautifully, right? And then she's going to go and give you some powerful solutions. So yes, yes, 100% big gold stars for you. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So a few things that I normally share is uh, about getting more influence is speaking more and becoming an author. So you and I are both authors. How many more stages have you gotten on because you have a book, Jill? Like hundreds? A lot. Right? A I could lot. easily <laughs> say hundreds that I've gotten on because I have books. Now I have 14 books, two more this month. It's ridiculous. It's almost ridiculous now how many books I keep like multiplying. Um, and it's mostly compilation books at this point, but I got on the like, local TV station with the very first compilation book that I was in uh, way back in 2006 because it was newer then. And they were like, oh, you're an author. I'm like, yeah, I wrote a chapter in this little book. And they, <laughs> it was so funny. So, and I didn't even know, I didn't even, initially, I didn't want to be an author. I just wanted to be a coach. I wanted to help people grow their businesses and get their right marketing in place so they stop wasting time and money in the wrong place. But then I learned, I noticed how uh, important it was to have a book because a lot of my friends and peers around me and my coaches and mentors were getting published. I'm like, huh, now they're getting more money and they're getting more stages and people are, they're creating events around the topics of their book. And so when you can become an author, I don't care if it's one chapter in a compilation book. Uh, I know a bunch of compilation books, by the way, not just mine, but other people who are publishing them with all kinds of different themes. There's so many options out there to get published. You could literally get published in seven or eight books a year with just who I know who's doing books every year. And so it's a great investment to do something like that. It's obviously a great investment to write your own book. But I say if you're still building your own business and you need cash flow, like you need cash flow coming in to pay the bills and you're, you might still be taking out of savings a little bit, perhaps you're still building the business, then I would say don't write your full book yet. I would wait until you have a lot more regular, consistent cash flow, frankly, because books don't bring you a lot of money, right? Unless you, unless you sell a whole lot of books, um, which, you know, that's a whole nother call, <laughs> a whole nother topic. But yeah, yeah I, I think that's author, yeah, amazing. That's say? such such great advice, and and uh, and going with somebody like you who's smart, who knows how to market, is also really important. Just saying, because there's a lot of um, association. There's that's there's influence by association, right? And so when you're part of somebody like your compilation books, what's great? Number one, you know how to market. Number two, you're already out there. So you know, choose carefully, my friends, about how you do that. But I think Katrina's points are so important for you know, just get something done. That's the point, yeah. right? And that is so true, actually. Um, because you said association. And so like a lot of most of my books, my compilation books, the jumpstart the blank books, 
I bring in two to three um, influencers every at every book. And it's people that have really big lists that are going to share the book out. That means you get in front of all of their people. This next book that I'm doing this year has Rhonda Swan, who's the Unstoppable Branding. She has over 100 and something thousand people just on her Instagram. Okay. Then I have Colleen Biggs, who has tens of thousands of people in her lead up for women. Um, so, I mean, it's you, you definitely want to check that out. So being associated with other people who have more influence is also a great thing to build your influence. Um, as far as speaking goes, though, I would say um, you, you just have to get started. So many people are scared of speaking. So many people don't know what to speak on. They don't know how to sell from the stage or even make an offer, even if it's just a free offer, you know. Um, and I'd say you just have to get started. Now, you have to learn. This is one of the skills I probably invested almost $200,000 in, in, in masterminds and coaches. So I've learned from three or four different speaker coaches already just to hone my presentation, figure out the best uh, things to include, like you talk about sound bites, right? And how to really speak, but you need to speak in a concise way, but also in a confident way that also makes people want what you've got. So I'd say speaking, becoming an author, um, networking, showing up, you have to be visible, right? We're here today just for a quick 20, 30 minutes. And then we're out, we're on, we're busy, right? We got stuff to do. But it's always good to show up in your in your community and share, share, share. And so would you have anything else to add about building an influence? Because I don't know. Well, I think, you know, the thing about fear of speaking, let me just say, listen, I don't know about you, but I'm, let's, I'm still afraid. I've been doing this over 27 years. I don't know that the quote unquote fear goes away, but you learn to manage it. You learn to be excited at, because fear and excitement are actually the same thing, you know? So here's the thing. You all speak anyway. Now let's create some main points and put yourself out there and try some small forms, places that will, you know, will um, return some things. The point is, and we're both saying this, show up, show up, get noticed get known. And, you know, here, what I want to say, you know, just kind of, you know, just speaking a truth here, you might bore yourself after a while. <laughs> <laughs> but we have not caught on yet. And this, I mean, people I've known for years, I'll hear them reintroduce themselves, or, you know, speak somewhere some and including you, Katrina, right? And I'll find out something new, like, wow, I didn't know that about her. Or so listen newly to every time people are speaking. And then for you all to just step out, step up, take a baby step and, and go, go find places to speak, including, by the way, doing a Facebook Live is a great PR thing to do. So that's, that's another simple thing to do. Yeah, while you were talking, I was writing up a couple other ones because I can't write the little banners while I'm talking. It's really difficult. <laughs> I can do it while you're talking. And you said get more on Facebook Live, whether it's Facebook Live or it's, um, oh, Jill dropped off somehow. I'll get her back. Don't worry. Whether it's Facebook Live or LinkedIn Live or YouTube Live or Insta Live, uh, you need to be on video more. Not only that, but record it and then take it and put it on your website. Make a blog out of it. Put it into uh, on your YouTube or something. Uh, here she comes. Here she's back. Okay. Don't and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. I've been talking about video. It's all good. And then the last thing that I would say would be to build and nurture a community. And we've both done that. I have the Jumpstart community. I have a Live Big Mastermind community. Um, I think just building, not building your email list is one thing, but when you make it more of a nurturing community, now you have your kindness uh, circles. I mean, I have a speaker network. I mean, there's, you got to have communities and that also helps increase your, your authority and your influencer status. So all of those things are so important. I don't care what you do as a business, right? I agree. And uh, the power of also being in other people's communities, right? Join, show up, go to meetings, uh, you know, network. Uh, I think it's really key. And what's so wonderful now is we're so many things are on Zoom. Find things on Zoom. It's so easy to show up. 
Yeah. In fact, I have a list. I have a list of Zoom events. If you want it, you have to comment below and I'll be happy to send it to you. But it has like 35 different organizations. I need to get your kind of circles on there. You're going to have to give me the link. I'd love yeah. that. And it's a really good list, by the way. I've used it too, just yeah. FYI. <laughs> <laughs> I built it because all my clients didn't know where to go in COVID, right? And so I'm like, okay, so I was listening to everybody. Oh, you have a group and it's free? Okay, or low cost? Okay. And so I built this group and uh, yeah, I've kind of didn't stop adding to it because I'm already overwhelmed with it. <laughs> but I only pick like, I think I'm in like five that I attend regularly besides my own group. Uh, and we're in a lot of the same circles. So I see Jill often. <laughs> right. But but you've got to listen to a point that both of us are making is we spend time as busy women. We are. We're busy, yeah. both of us, serving clients, doing our thing. But guess what? We make time. And I want you to really hear that we make time to go to network, to be in circles, to have more influence. It's important. And, and I hope that you hear from two of us who are smart in marketing that that's a key to success. Yeah, it totally is. And for those of you who like to sit behind your computer and just kind of want to do Facebook groups and, and online marketing, that's okay. It's what I've been saying recently is like, you got to pick a lane. So Jill and I are in the networking, speaking events lane. If you want to be, and we also do social media, but I think not to the extent that you really need to do in order to really have a massive following that's very responsive there. I don't know about you, but I don't think either one of us spend like four hours a day on, on our groups or anything on social media. If that's really one, where you want to spend your time, honestly, you might have to pick a lane these days because you have to do, it's like a full-time job on either lane. I have friends that are, all they do is Facebook group and that's all they nurture all day long. They're in their live, they're answering questions. They've got 10, you know, thousands and thousands of people in there and they get clients, right? That's all they do, right? So to do it all is just don't even attempt it because you're going to do all of it half ass. That's yeah. right. And it's like trying to, what is that when you balance on two boards and you end up doing the splits, right? <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. No. <laughs> so be careful, be careful because it can get overwhelming and you kind of have to figure out if you're the people person or the behind the scenes person. And then you have to go for it though. And do yeah. But then, things. then I want to add one more thing and yeah. that is get some team. <laughs> you know, get some team to help you with these things. Like you don't have to be doing everything. Success is not done alone. It's done with team, with colleagues, with friends, with associates, right? We, uh, we partner together. And, and I think it's important that you, you get team and you also see who's in your network that you can collaborate with, connect with, just like we're here together. This is a connection, a collaboration. This is years of co a colleague and friendship, right? So yeah. I just want to say that, that it, take a look in your network and who you know, because my guess is there's people you can definitely come together with. Well, secretly, this is one of the biggest marketing strategies that I teach my clients is grab people and do this once a week because you're going to share it with your people. I'm sharing it with my people and we're it's free. Hello. Pay attention, people. OK, so we got to wrap it up. Uh, Jill, why don't you tell them where they can get more from you? Because hello, they're going to want more, I'm sure. Thank you so much. So. Uh, I've compiled a, a publicity action guide. It's super simple. Get it done. More great publicity tips. And um, and then on top of that, when you open up the free gift, there's a, a wonderful publicity masterclass, which is live and interactive with me. So come on and let's see you at, at that. And I look forward to serving you. You find it. It's in the link down there, publicitycrashcourse.com slash free gift. Awesome. What's and yours? So, yes, mine. I have eight different free gifts, actually. I, I'm a free gift, like creative junkie. I love to create a whole bunch of stuff and then slap it all on a page and you can pick and choose what you want. So there's one to become an author. There's one about becoming a speaker. There's one about jumpstarting your business. There's one about um, making the website the hub of your business. And there's a call with me. There's all kinds of options. You just got to go to my free gift page at jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash free trainings. So, and then I have an event coming up. You can always look at the events page, but it's at jumpstartevents.net where I teach uh, almost all of this stuff. <laughs>
All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for being here, Jill. You are and, awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm glad we could make this happen. Hope you guys got some great value. Thanks for the thumbs up. Hi, Chuck. I saw you. Um, and uh, y'all have a great day. And go do something productive, please. Take some of these tips and do something productive, please. <laughs>